going to demonstrate a little drawing game that turns shadows on a page into a drawing of an imaginary built environment. It should help us think about the relationship between three-dimensional space, drawing, planning and imagination. It introduces a playful element of chance into this relationship. I start by casting the shadow of an everyday object on a piece of paper and drawing around it. In this case, I've chosen a glue gun that was on my desk. You could use anything you have to hand. Try to choose a simple object that casts a shadow with strong angles. There is a combination of creativity and chance here in choosing which parts of the shadow to include or emphasise in your drawing. For now, let yourself be guided by your intuition. Once you've traced the shadow, put the object away and look at your drawing. Imagine it as an architectural plan for an urban or rural space. I was initially having trouble seeing past the shape of the object I'd used, so I flipped the drawing upside down. Once I'd done that, the shape suddenly stood out to me as an island connected to a mainland by a bridge. I started giving some three-dimensionality to the island. The kind of drawing I'm making here is a freehand version of a sort of technical drawing called axonometric. You'll notice that although it represents depth, it doesn't use perspective. In other words, objects don't diminish in size as they get further away, as they do in photography or some realist paintings. Once I'd given some three-dimensionality to the island, I decided this little hole I'd traced in the shadow could be the footprint or floor plan of a tall tower block. You could make a decision about any kind of building or spatial element you want to introduce. You might be familiar with the axonometric view from museum floor plans, video games, or architectural proposals on hoardings outside building sites. Doing this kind of exercise helps me to think about the political and emotional dimensions of this familiar kind of image. This top-down view always suggests to me a desire for a kind of mastery or control over space. The absurdity of how I'm assembling this scene out of shadow play helps me to question the clinical and sombre tone of this technology that's used to build so much of the world around us. I let my mind wander on thoughts like this while I'm drawing. I decided there should be some landscaping, so I took the glass of water I was drinking and used that to generate some shapes that suggested parkland to me. Then I thought it would be nice if there were some trees, so I used a colander to scatter some more light. Something about the light that I'm using added a squareness to the round colander holes, which was a nice surprise. How do you feel about the scene that you've drawn? What would it be like to spend time there, or even live there? Making the spaces people use on a daily basis is a big responsibility. How do you feel the people who've designed and made the spaces you live in handled that responsibility?